Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to factor this given polynomial. Now my question is, is it possible that we can factor this given polynomial? What do you think about this? The answer is yes, we can factor this given polynomial. Now let me show you how we're going to proceed. In order to factor this given polynomial, we need to tweak it a little bit. We are going to manipulate it by just simply adding 4 and subtracting 4. As you can see, if you add and subtract 4, it's like you are adding a 0. It doesn't make any difference. Now, I want you just simply to focus on these terms, this, this, and this. I want you to write them down together and I want you to combine these like terms. So I can write as x power 4 plus 4x square and then plus 4. You can see that thing and here negative 5 and negative 4 is going to make negative 9. So far so good. Now I want you to just simply focus on this part. I'm going to just manipulate it a little bit. Can I write this x power 4 as x power 2 and then power 2. Okay. And then I can write this one over here. 4 times x square. And here I can write this 4 as plus 2 square, then again, and then minus 9, of course, right here. But still, we are focusing on this part only. And now we are going to compare this one with our well-known formula. a plus b squared equals to a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared, if you look at this one and compared to this one, I can certainly write this part inside this box as x square plus 2 complete square. And obviously we got minus 9 over here. Now, in the next step, I want you to just focus over here. I can write x square plus 2 and then complete square, I can write 9 as negative 3 square. And now you can see that this represents a difference of 2 square and here we have this formula. The difference of 2 squares could be written as the product of sum and the difference. This time I'm going to call this part in A and this part as a b, then we're going to be using this formula. So this could be written as, in this one, in this bracket, I can write x square plus 2, and then first I'm going to put down plus 3, and then times, another one is going to be x square plus 2, and then minus 3. So far so good. Let's simplify this one a little bit. Open up these parentheses. I can write this thing x square plus 2 plus 3 time x square plus 2 minus 3. Let's simplify. Combine the like terms. I got x square plus 5 times x square minus 1. Now I want you to focus on this second parenthesis. First of all, let me go ahead and write down this first parenthesis as x square plus 5. And I can write this one over here, x square minus 1 square. So far so good. So let me just go ahead 
and show you this second parenthesis this one represents a difference of two squares again we're going to be using this formula once again so this could be written as i can write as x plus one times x minus one so far so good and then x squared plus five was just outside so here are our complete factors x squared plus five times x plus one times x minus one and that is our answer and here is your assignment as usual can you factor this given polynomial you can take your time think about it pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye bye